Amidst the vibrant colors and delicate aromas of our home gardens, a hidden menace lurks beneath the surface. Dangerous weeds that pose a threat to our health and the well-being of our pets. These plants possess potent toxins and insidious properties that can turn our peaceful sanctuaries into unwitting danger zones. In this video, we'll embark on a journey to uncover the most treacherous weeds that can sprout in your gardens. Giant hogweed, jimson weed, white snake root, meadow death camas, yeah really, that's a name, bittersweet nightshade, pokeweed, stinging nettle, poison ivy, and poison oak. Shedding light on their deceptive appearances, the hazards they present, and the vital knowledge needed to eradicate them. It's time to uncover the hidden adversaries among the beauty and ensure our gardens remain safe havens of serenity and well-being. Let's dig in. Giant hogweed is an appropriate name for this imposing weed that can tower up to 15 feet in height. Its leaves are deeply lobed with jagged edges that can span over three feet in diameter. The stem is covered in purple blotches and coarse white hairs. Giant hogweed is originally from Central and Southwest Asia. It was brought to the United States in the early 1900s as an ornamental plant. According to the New York Times, this plant can burn you blind. The sap of giant hogweed contains chemicals that cause severe phototoxicity. Direct contact with the sap and exposure to sunlight can result in painful burns, blisters, and even long-term scarring. Due to its potential risks, professional assistance is often recommended for eradicating giant hogweed. In my area, the state of New York asks its residents to contact the state DEC to remove this giant pain in the behind. Look out for this dangerous weed in Australia, Canada, the UK, and across the northern parts of the US from Maine to Washington. Jimson weed is a noxious weed that features large, pretty, trumpet-shaped flowers that can be white, pink, or purple. Its leaves are deeply lobed, resembling a star shape, and it emits a pungent odor. The plant can reach heights of up to five feet tall. I talked about a cousin of this plant, the angel's trumpet, in my series, Deadliest Plants on Earth, which focused on toxic plants that are often sold at nurseries. If you haven't seen that series, I would love for you to check it out. I'll put a link in the comments. Jimson weed, like angel's trumpet, contains potent tropane alkaloids, including scopolamine and hyoscyamine. Ingesting any part of the plant, whether accidentally or intentionally, can lead to hallucinations, delirium, rapid heartbeat, blurred vision, and in severe cases, coma or even death. Jimson weed is native to North America, but it can be found across the globe. White snake root, like the giant hogweed, is a perennial weed that features clusters of small white flowers with a distinct tubular shape. Its leaves are opposite and serrated, while the stems are often covered in fine white hairs. White snake root contains a toxin called tremetol, which can be transmitted through the consumption of tainted milk or meat. Ingesting this weed can lead to a condition known as milk sickness in humans and can be fatal to livestock. It is native to the eastern part of North America. I have to pull this out of my garden every year. It comes up even in my vegetable garden, so we always have to be careful not to miss it when we're harvesting from our lettuce bed. This is the plant that infamously killed the mother of Abraham Lincoln, who died in 1818 from milk sickness, which was caused by drinking milk from cows that had eaten the poisonous white snake root. It also sickened many of the settlers when they were traveling across the US. Meadow Death Camas. I feel the need to announce that like I'm introducing a heavy metal band in the late 80s or early 90s. So if you ever went to a heavy metal concert, put a music note in the comments because you are my people. Meadow Death Camas is a perennial herbaceous plant that can grow up to three feet tall. It features narrow grass-like leaves and produces clusters of white star-shaped flowers. Meadow Death Camas are highly toxic. All parts of the plant, including the bulbs, contain toxic alkaloids such as zygosine and veratriadine. Ingesting even a small amount can result in severe poisoning symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, dizziness, and potentially fatal respiratory failure. This plant is more toxic than strychnine. Look out for this bad boy across parts of Western Canada, the U.S., and Northern Mexico. 
Bittersweet Nightshade is a woody vine with heart-shaped leaves that have pointed tips. It produces small, star-shaped purple flowers that eventually give way to round red berries. The berries often hang in clusters and resemble miniature tomatoes. Bittersweet Nightshade contains toxic compounds including solanine and glycoalkaloids in its stems and berries. Ingesting any part of the plant can cause symptoms such as gastrointestinal upset, including vomiting and diarrhea. In severe cases, it can lead to respiratory difficulties, hallucinations, and even seizures. Bittersweet nightshade is native to northern Africa and Eurasia, but it can be found across the world, including in the U.S. I've seen this plant in so many places in my area, but thankfully not in my own backyard. Unfortunately for me, I do have pokeweed all over my yard. Pokeweed is another large perennial plant that can reach heights of up to 10 feet. It has thick reddish stems and elongated lance-shaped leaves. The plant produces small clusters of white flowers that develop into clusters of dark purple berries. Here you can see this pokeweed growing up through my limelight hydrangea. And if you're looking fast, you might not even notice the difference in the buds. While pokeweed may have a striking appearance, it's important to note that all parts of the plant, especially the berries and roots, contain toxic substances such as saponines and phytolacotoxin. Ingesting pokeweed can lead to severe gastrointestinal distress. In some cases, it can cause more severe symptoms such as low blood pressure and heart abnormalities. Pokeweed is native to North America and can be found across the U.S. and Canada, but it has also naturalized across Europe and Asia. Stinging nettle is also a perennial plant characterized by its serrated heart-shaped leaves that are covered in small stinging hairs. The plant can reach heights of up to 7 feet and it often grows in dense clusters. It produces inconspicuous greenish flowers. Stinging nettle gets its name from the tiny hairs on its leaves and stems that release irritating chemicals upon contact with skin. These hairs can cause a stinging sensation, itching, and a rash. The chemicals released by the plant can also lead to a, an allergic reaction in some individuals, resulting in more severe symptoms, such as swelling and difficulty breathing. While stinging nettle may be considered a nuisance due to its ability to cause discomfort, it's important to note that the plant also possesses medicinal properties and is used in some herbal remedies. However, when it comes to the home garden and areas of frequent human activity, understanding how to recognize and safely remove stinging nettle can help prevent unwelcome encounters with its stinging hairs. Stinging nettle is native to Europe, but it can also be found across the globe. Another vicious weed is water hemlock, which is the most violently toxic plant that grows in North America, but can also be found throughout the world. I discuss this in detail in my video, The Most Deadly Plants, which I'll leave a link for in the description. Poison ivy is a notorious weed that typically presents itself as a vine or shrub with three leaflets. Its leaves may appear glossy, displaying serrated or toothed edges, and it can range in color from green to reddish in the fall. Poison ivy produces a resin, which can cause severe allergic reactions upon contact. Skin rashes, itching, blistering, and swelling are common symptoms. In some cases, inhalation of smoke from burning poison ivy can lead to respiratory distress. Poison ivy has been injuring people in eastern Canada, the U.S., Mexico, and Central America, and also Bermuda and the Bahamas. Poison oak is a woody shrub or climbing vine commonly found in wooded areas. It has compound leaves that consist of three leaflets resembling the shape of oak leaves. The leaves can vary in color from green to red depending on the season. It's very similar to poison ivy. Poison oak also produces the same resin that can cause allergic reactions upon contact. Touching any part of the plant, including leaves or stems or even the roots, can result in red itchy rash that may develop into blisters and also inhaling the smoke from burning poison oak can lead to respiratory irritation or discomfort. The plant currently irritates residents of British Columbia all the way down south to Mexico. When it comes to eradicating the dangerous weeds listed in this video, a few best practices can ensure both safety and effectiveness. First and foremost, always wear appropriate protective clothing, including gloves, long sleeves, and pants to shield yourself from potential contact with toxic substances. When removing the weeds, aim to uproot the entire plant, including the root system, to prevent regrowth. 
Proper disposal of the plants is essential to avoid accidental contact by humans, pets, or wildlife. In cases of highly toxic weeds, like giant hogweed or jimson weed, consider seeking professional assistance for removal to minimize risks. Additionally, always be cautious when handling any plant material, as some toxins can persist even after uprooting. Do you have any of these weeds in your yard? Tell me in the comments below which ones you are battling, whether it's one of the weeds I've discussed today or if it's something else that's driving you crazy. If you enjoyed this video today, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other series, Deadliest Plants on Earth and Dangerous Beauty, to learn more about the most poisonous plants in the world. Thanks for watching today. Have a great day.